Good morning, coaches. Come on in for today's Facebook Live training. Happy Tuesday. Come on in. Happy, happy Tuesday, one and all. Um, as you are coming in, drop me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from, what you hope to learn today. I love to hear all that good stuff. Um, and if you're watching the replay, welcome. Um, I know some of you are working at this time. It's tough with all the different time zones. Um, but if you're watching a replay um, as well, drop me a comment, hashtag replay, and let me know that you're here with me. So a um, couple logistical things. I'm just going to do what I always do, which is hop into the Facebook group and make sure that you guys can see me, can hear me, um, because Facebook is wonky like that. So let's make sure that the video is showing up the right way for you guys. Um, if you can see me and hear me okay, drop me a comment. Let me know that you're here. Okay. So far, so good here. So let's hop right in. Um, for those of you who have not met me yet, my name is Betty Kempa. I am a business coach for coaches, marketing strategist, the LinkedIn expert. I am an IPEC graduate, for those of you familiar with IPEC, and I'm on the Forbes Coaches Council. My specialty is helping corporate professionals ditch their nine to five and repackage their genius into a six-figure coaching business using my signature methodology, the five C's of building a six-figure coaching business. Um, I am the founder of the Corporate to Six-Figure Coach Academy. As always, if you would like additional uh, coaching support with your business, check out the link in the copy of this post to apply for a discovery call with me, just so that I can learn a little bit more about your business challenges, your business goals. That would be your opportunity to ask me any questions. I love speaking with you guys live, and we can see if you're a fit for the Corporate to Six-Figure Coach Academy. Okay, um, the other huge announcement, and I'm very, very excited about this one too. Just checking here to make sure I can see your guys' comments before I just kind of barrel through here. Let's see, pull this up here. Okay, so drop me a comment if you're coming in just to make sure that I can see your comments so I can interact with you guys. Um, but the big announcement that I wanna make sure that if you haven't heard already, that you are aware of is the Choose Your Niche Nail Your Messaging Bootcamp, which is taking place August 9th through August 13th um, with a couple bonus section, uh, sessions even after that. Um, this is a five-day bootcamp jam-packed with value. My goal is to give you more value in this free five-day bootcamp than you've had in your last paid program. Um, that is my goal. So be sure to save your seat by registering. There is a link to register. Um, for the boot camp, it's in the copy of this Facebook Live along with this video. It is really important that you register so that you receive your free 12-page workbook um, that I put my blood, sweat, and tears into. I want you guys to get this workbook that is going to guide you through the upcoming boot camp. So it's good for you to have that ahead of time and review it. Um, as far as the boot camp, who are the kinds of humans that that would need this boot camp or should be attending? Um, one, if you're not at six figures in your coaching business yet, but you're not sure why, this boot camp is for you. Um, two, if you need help identifying a niche that you're passionate about, who can also afford you, this boot camp is for you. Um, three, if you need to hone in on your messaging. So some of you guys you kind of have an idea of your niche, but your messaging needs some help, right? So if you need to hone in on your messaging so your ideal client understands exactly who you help with what, right? So that you can attract more clients, the boot camp is for you. And then last but not least, for some of you guys, you attended the boot camp last time, but life got in the way, right? Maybe you fell behind with some of the homework. So come on back and, and take a refresher. All right, so the link for the boot camp registration is in the copy. Go ahead and register now so you can get your workbook. This boot camp is really a must. Okay, so as you guys are coming in, um, drop me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from, and we will move on to today's topic. Hey, Liz, thanks for joining us today. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to hop in here and feel free, you guys, as you're popping in, whether you're watching live or I know a lot of you guys catch the replay as well, um, drop me comments. If you have any questions, this is meant to be, 
there goes my book. This is meant to be a hot seat coaching, not just me speaking at you guys. Um, I really want to be here as your resource for you to ask me questions where you feel stuck. So drop me um, any questions that you have. If you need clarity on what I'm going to be teaching you today, now's really the chance to drop those questions in the comments um, so that I can answer them for you. And again, even if you're watching the replay, I come back and check these comments. Okay, so for today's training topic, the five mistakes coaches make that prevent them from hitting six figures. Now, here's the disclaimer before I just rail right into this and go through the five mistakes with you. So I am an IPEC coach, for those of you familiar with IPEC, and one of the principles we learned, which yeah, I'm making an assumption, but probably most, most coach certifications teach this principle, and that's, um, you know, there are no mistakes. We either win or we learn, and I wholeheartedly believe that. Um, I truly, truly do. So the point of this training and, and my goal as your business advisor is that I want you guys to learn from my mistakes or the mistakes of others so that you can skip the mistake line, right? That's what I call it, the mistake line. It's like, ah, oh, you gotta make all these mistakes until you can hit your, your financial goals in your business. So if you learn from others' mistakes, you can skip the mistake line and get to that six figure mark much more rapidly and efficiently. So let's get onto those five mistakes. Now, if you are making one of these mistakes, hooray! Like that's a good thing um, because today will be your opportunity to course correct, right? Awareness is really the first step in being able, able to pivot. Um, that's how we, we are able to either win or we learn, right? So today should be some kind of an awareness, you know, light bulb moment for you. Embrace those mistakes and, and let's correct course. Okay, so mistake number one is niche and messaging. Let me know if you guys can see that on my whiteboard. Hopefully you can. Um, so I wrote not enough niche because, you know, I do a lot of these calls with you guys. I do a lot of business audits. Um, and, and this is the number one thing I see. Not enough niche and your messaging is off. Okay, big ones. So let me talk you through that. So for those of you not familiar with the niche, probably most of you are, but a niche targets a distinct segment of the market, right? A niche is your specialty. It's your expertise. It's your I help who with what statement. Your niche encompasses a certain demographic or a psychographic and also a specific goal that you are helping that human solve, right? And what I see is that many coaches go way too broad. And I can't even tell you guys how often I see that. Um, we just go way too broad with our statements. Um, a lot of time coaches want to be everything to everyone. And they're afraid to niche down because they are afraid that they will lose potential clients. But it's actually the opposite that occurs. And I really want you to absorb that. When you don't niche down enough, it's actually the opposite that occurs. When you stay broad in your coaching practice, you appear as a generalist. And the fact is, people want to hire a specialist to solve their very specific problem. So write that down if you're a note taker. People want to hire a specialist to solve their very specific problem, okay? Specialists command a higher price point. In fact, marketresearch.com uh, gives a statistic that general coaches make around 73K, but specialty or niche down coaches will surpass the six figure mark. Um, so the riches in the niches, I believe that statement because I see that. Not only will niching down make you more attractive to potential clients, it also just makes your life easier, to be honest. It makes your life easier um, because then you're able to execute an effective marketing strategy. Lots of coaches struggle with how to niche down. Um, or what I see is a lot of coaches come to me, they think they've niched down, but the fact is that they actually need to narrow down either the who or the what even more. 
okay, in order to get to that six-figure mark. Um, now, something else that I will see, you know, often people will come to me and say, yeah, I chose my niche. I'm good. I'm, I'm a career coach or whatever. But the problem is then that they don't know how to message it. They don't know how to message what they do or who they help effectively to their market, right? So what happens then is that they're not attracting clients because potential clients are just not clear on who you help, what you do, and what specific problem you solve. So again, write that one down. You're not attracting clients because your perfect clients who are currently out there in the universe, who are perfect for you, they are not clear on who you help because they're trying to figure out, is she for me? Is that coach for me? They're not clear on who you help, one, what you do, two, or the specific problem you solve, three. And I promise you, most of you when it comes down to what's preventing you from hitting the six-figure mark, it starts with niche and messaging. Clarity is king. Clarity is king. So if your messaging is not on point, you're going to have a tough time. So again, this is my reminder to you guys. This is why I do this boot camp, this free five-day choose your niche, nail your messaging boot camp. Um, there's going to be value in that that's going to help you overcome this number one mistake in one week right? It's going to be a game changer. So be sure you register. The registration link is in the copy of this Facebook Live. Um, and again, with that boot camp, it's not me speaking at you. I'm going to be hot seat coaching you guys, right? You're going to be giving me your niche, your messaging statement. I'm going to give you, be giving you feedback, okay? So you guys will learn all about this in the boot camp, but when it comes to choosing your niche and nailing your messaging, you need to do other things like validating the market, researching the pains and dreams of your ideal client avatar so that your copy is in their words. That's the other key. The copy that you write describing your coaching business should be in the words of your ideal client, not yours. Okay, so we're going to talk about all of that in the boot camp, but that is the first major mistake that coaches make that prevent them from hitting six figures. Niche is too broad, messaging is unclear, haven't validated the market. Okay, let's check my comments here. Okay. Um, hey, Lori, nice to see you. Yeah, no worries. If you have, have to drop off, Lori, it's nice to just see you in here. Come back and catch the replay. Um, but see how much value you can get in a couple minutes you're here. Glad to have you. Okay, let's talk about mistake number two. You are missing a killer coaching package. Okay, the killer coaching package. Um, so when I say the killer coaching package, here, here are the mistakes specifically that I'm talking about when it comes to creating a killer coaching package. Um, the first thing, and again, this is just from, you know, all the audits that I've done, all, all of the clients that I've helped, um, all of the discovery calls that I've run, right? Numerous times per week, I'm I'm looking at what you guys are doing out there. Um, and I've also been through this, right? Like I've, I've been there, done that with all of these things. Um, but, but a part of having a killer coaching package, what I see that's hurting people is they have way too many offers, way too many offers, like a buffet of offers. And the key is to simplify. Clients just want you to solve their pain. They don't know if they need six sessions, 12 sessions, 20 sessions, the gold, the silver, the bronze. They don't know right? Um, you as the coach need to determine how many sessions it takes to get your clients from pain to dream so that you can inform your client or your pr prospective client how long this process is going to take. So it shouldn't be a buffet of things like, ah, oh, yeah, choose one of these things. You should be telling them, hey, in order to get you from pain to dream, it's an XYZ month package. It's this many sessions, right? The next thing that I see as far as the mistake with the killer coaching package, and I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but it's coaches undercharging for their services, right? And part of undercharging for your, and let me just back up. And I think you guys know this, I'm preaching to the choir. 
Coaching is life-changing. It's transformational. You guys are changing people's lives. It's insane the value that you're bringing to people. You're getting them on track with their health. You're saving their relationships. You're helping them find the, the career of their dreams. You're helping them to step up as a leader and get promoted. Whatever your niche is, you are changing people's lives. So do not undercharge for your services. I know part of this is a mindset issue, right? And I totally get that. Part of it is also that coaches need to really beef up the value of what they offer so that they can increase the price right along with it, right? If I could wave a magic wand, if I had fairy dust for everybody watching, you know, I'd love for you guys to be selling one high ticket package per month that would allow you to hit your monthly target or to be able to sell two downsell packages per month to hit your monthly target. You shouldn't have to be landing, you know, four sales per month to hit your monthly target. You should be able to sell one or two per month, right? But in order to do that, we can't just slap a price ticket on something and call it a day. The value of your package <clears throat> has to be about, about double the price tag. So I want you guys to have a higher price tag, but I also want the value of what you're offering um, for you to be able to verbalize to your client how the value is worth about double what you're actually charging. And that's what I help coaches do, right? Is put together this high ticket coaching package that is valued at double the high ticket price, right? Then it becomes a no brainer for the client. They're like, yeah, that's an investment, but I get it. And, and that's the thing. We know the value, but they don't. It's up to us to convey the value. So that's a big piece of it. The last thing when it comes to this mistake, the, the killer coaching package, um, is that you really need to have a coaching framework, some kind of a unique methodology, specific steps that you're going to take to get your client from pain to dream, right? You got to show your client you've got a plan that you got them, right? And that's going to set you apart from your competitors. If you check out the link in the copy of this Facebook Live, um, there's a link to my Corporate to Six Figure Coach Academy. And in that link, are, that's my signature method. That's the five C's of building a six-figure coaching business. Um, that's my framework, right? So you need one of those too. So if you need an example, take a look at the link in the copy of, of this Facebook Live. But all of you guys should have that unique method. It makes life so much easier for you and for the client. And it's how you build out your package, okay? So that's mistake number two. Okay, just checking my comments here. Hey, Paula, nice to see you. Cool. Um, all right, so still going here. And let me know if you guys have any questions so far on any of this. Also drop me a line to let me know, you know, even based on mistakes one and two, I call them mistakes, but, you know, we could call them learnings or tips, if you will, a little more anabolic. Um, but what is one thing you're going to change about your business based on what I've shared so far? Drop that in the comments. Okay, mistake number three is an ineffective brand launch. My handwriting is a little crazy. Ineffective brand launch. So here's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about coaches who spend all this time or money or both on creating a beautiful website and then the website just sits there. It's crickets. There was no launch. There was no excitement created around the website. Um, I used to work in corporate communications in the retail industry. That was my life prior to getting into coaching. And I remember when we opened up a, a new store, um, there was always a grand opening launch, right? We sent out postcards with special coupons and, um, you know, uh, giveaways, balloons, right? I want you guys to think about launching your coaching business like a store's grand opening. An effective grand opening strategy 
is going to include writing compelling website copy to engage your audience. I see the, the same website mistakes um, that are hurting coaching businesses, right? Again and again, the copy on the homepage, you know, has to be hitting on the pain and the dream of your ideal client in their words, right? So that has to be incorporated. The layout of the website has to be conducive to converting people, right? To booking calls with you. Um, it has to be branded correctly, right? The website um, has to have a, an, an irresistible lead magnet to capture email addresses. Just as what's important, what's on the website, what happens when your, your prospect leaves your website? Because that happens a lot, right? So for example, once a prospect downloads your lead magnet, do you have a juicy email nurture sequence that helps your ideal client avatar to know, like, and trust you once they join your email list? They download your, your lead magnet, then what? Right, you should have an email nurture sequence and then a strategy after that. Um, I read on salescycle.com that 59% of customers say that marketing emails influence their purchasing decisions. And honestly, that's a big number. So it's really critical that you get your email nurture sequence right. Um, I had a client, Vanessa, she, she came to me right before she launched um, and we really worked together. I had to unravel a lot of stuff, but we worked together to ensure that she had all these elements of her brand launch dialed in. Um, she had been in the corporate world for about 17 years and was transitioning from the vice president of brand strategy and partnerships to building her own coaching business. So Vanessa was able to book her first client right after her launch and she did scale to six figures her first year because she had all of this stuff dialed in. So an ineffective brand launch, um, don't do that. Don't launch to crickets, you work too hard. Um, and, and PS, if you already went live, you can always do a relaunch. I do that a lot with clients who come to me that already have a website out there, right? There's a way to relaunch and get people engaged and excited again. Um, okay, just checking my comments. Okay, mistake number four, and this is a biggie, and I think you guys probably know this if, if this is something that you're experiencing, and that's not having a client attraction system. Client attraction system. So write that down, because it is a system. Shouldn't be th throwing spaghetti at the wall. So mistake number four that is preventing coaches from hitting the six figure mark is lacking a system to attract clients on autopilot. And here's the deal. The truth is, and you guys know this, there's a million ways to attract clients. And that is part of the struggle I feel, is that as coaches, we have a million different voices telling us that their way is the right way. And before we know it, we're suffering from shiny object syndrome, bouncing from one client attraction method to another, and our fingers are crossed that something works, All right? So, you know, a lot of strategies out there could work, but the problem is that most coaches that I see are lacking a system to effectively implement these strategies, right? It's like a lot of one-off, try this, try this. You need the system, right? You don't wanna be waking up on a Tuesday as a coach and a business owner with a to-do list a mile long wondering, gee, what do I need to focus on today to attract a client? Right? There are certain things that if you did them today, you would have clients booked. But most people were so overwhelmed with all the noise out there, we don't know what that looks like. So a system that's going to help you attract clients. Now your system should include, I'm not going to go too far down this rabbit hole. Um, I mean, this is a whole module that I, I teach my clients, obviously, is setting up that client attraction system. But there are various elements that should be a part of your client attraction system, such as consistent outreach. If you are not outreaching to other humans every single day, Monday through Friday, you're, you're missing. You're missing some, some potential prospects that could become clients. Consistent outreach with effective outreach scripts. That has to be a part of your client attraction system. Weekly training content. 
right? So at least once a week, same day, same time, your ideal client avatar should know to expect some piece of training content from you, which is going to position you as an expert in the market, right? We wanna position you as an expert by you showing up weekly, right, and providing training content. Let me know if you have any questions on that one. Now, part of the client attraction system should also be repurposing your content, right? It should also be repurposing your content. So you can create a content marketing calendar. You can batch your content creation. So you're not doing it every single day. You can batch your content creation and make life easier on yourself by doing this. So just a couple nuggets there of some elements that have got to be a part of your client attraction system. It's really important that you do get your social media content dialed in. Um, again, I love these statistics. Um, I'm always looking this stuff up. There's a study by Brain Fog. They're, they're called Brain Fog. And they said that 82% of buyers believe a company is more trustworthy if it's active in social media. But the key is, you gotta be active on social media in an effective and compelling way that speaks to your ideal client avatar, right? Not just kind of posting like, oh yeah, I posted today. It's gotta be something. I mean, this is part of my corporate communications background. When you're creating content, it has to engage, inspire, move the person who's looking at reading, absorbing, listening to that content. Now, one last word to the wise here, an effective client attraction system does not mean spreading yourself thin across every social media channel. You really want to hone in on one social media platform where your ideal client avatar hangs out and dominate it. Show up consistently. Um, I had a client, Krista, she was a former corporate director of global talent uh, and development. She became a leadership coach and she was killing it on social media. So we went through this whole training together. Um, she, she was showing up, you know, killing it, everything that I just mentioned as far as client attraction. And she was selling coaching packages for 14,000 a piece, right? Um, to, to clients that found her on LinkedIn, right? Very, very cool. The last mistake, mistake number five, is a weak discovery call process. Weak discovery call process. So I'm talking about coaches getting on the phone with people who they haven't pre-qualified, right? Meaning ahead of the call, they establish the prospect has a need, the timing's right, and there's motivation, right? They've got a need, the timing's right, and there's motivation. You should only be running discovery calls with pre-qualified potential clients, right? Or the other thing I see um, is coaches who are getting on a discovery call before they've warmed up the prospects sufficiently. So when I'm talking about warming up, I'm talking about, you know, there's a way that you as a coach can make sure ahead of time that every human you hop on the phone with knows exactly who you are and what you offer before you get on the call. That's the key. They are familiar with your work, before you get on the phone with someone, they should be totally familiar with your work. And there should already be an element of know, like, and trust. The know, like, and trust shouldn't be all established on the call. That should be going on prior to the call, okay? You don't wanna hop on the phone with people cold, right? Who have no idea who you are. You really need to educate them on, on all of these things, who you are, what you do, right? Some of your training content, you need to educate them on all of this ahead of time. Um, and what I always say is if you're doing all the heavy lifting on the discovery call, you're doing it wrong. So again, I just want that to sink in. If you're doing all the heavy lifting on the discovery call, you're doing it wrong. The heavy lifting, a lot of it needs to be before you ever get on the phone. Now, once on the call, or if you guys are doing Zoom calls for discovery calls, um, you really want to have a powerful script, right? Because there's two ways of doing it. It's having a powerful discovery call script or it's kind of stumbling through the conversation. Two different ways. Um, and I will say there's, you know, a clue, a clue to, to this mistake 
is that if you are dreading discovery calls, if you dread discovery calls, you probably don't have a powerful script that gives you confidence. It's not like you have to read the script like you're a robot, um, but there is a strategy and outline. There's a method to the madness of how these conversations go. And, and when you have that and you've practiced that and you've gotten feedback on that, you get confident and then you don't dread discovery calls, right? Really important that you have that process dialed in. Okay, um, so if you're watching the replay, go ahead and drop me any questions that you may have. Thank you guys so much um, for those of you who are able to make it live. Um, and then go ahead and let's keep each other accountable. Drop a comment below. What is one thing that you are going to change about your business based on what you learned today? All right, so if you're watching live or on the replay, drop a comment below. What is one thing that you commit to changing about your business based on what you learned today. Give me that commitment. All right, guys, if you are ready to build your six-figure coaching business, as always, there's a link to book a discovery call in the comments with me so that we can explore whether you'd be a good fit for the Corporate to Six-Figure Coach Academy. I would love to speak to you, learn more about your coaching business, um, your goals, and explore how I could help you achieve them. So link to book a call in the copy near this video. And of course, do not forget to register for the free five-day Choose Your Niche Nail Your Messaging Bootcamp link in the copy of this Facebook live video. All right, guys, have a wonderful week and I will catch you soon.